Okay, so I'm starting to record. So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm going to, the purpose of today is, is for me to show you how to set up classes for your students. Um, I also want to say if you've used 3D Bear and you have other questions, um, if you want to put them in the chat um, after I show the classroom setup, um, I can also ask, answer maybe some other questions if you have other questions. Um, so, uh, so anyhow, welcome. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, share my screen. Okay. And I shared earlier with Denny this presentation. And so you all have access to this also. But this, this presentation shows, you know, step by step, how, you know, you log in, um, you go to www.3dbear.io, where to log in, um, how to log in, and then you get step by step, you know, creating a new class and everything. But I'm going to show you live how to do that. So I'm just going to go here and I'm just, you know, I go to the website 3dbear.io, you know, 3dbear.io, which is what you'll do also. And then, um, and then once we're, let me just get one thing up here, the participants, um, and I'm going to move this. So it's off there. Okay. So um, once you're on here, you should see, and you're going to do this on a computer. Uh, you could conceivably do it on an iPad, but I find it easier to do it on a computer where I have a keyboard and I have a mouse. And you notice all the way here on the right, it says 3D Bear app. And when I bring my cursor over 3D Bear app on the bottom in the green, it says login. So I click on login, and if I weren't um, if I weren't already logged in, it would bring me to a login screen. So I'm going to log out. Okay. So normally it would you know when I click on login, if I'm not already logged in, it's going to bring me to this screen right here, where I'm going to put in my email address and my password. Um, and so you all in your school, I gave you all the same passwords, which you, you can change at some point, but you'll put in your email address, you'll put in that password, and then you'll click on login right down here. London. Okay. So then login takes you to this, um, to the screen and, you, and usually it, it starts on here where it says lessons. And these are some of the lessons in 3D Bear. I gave you access to a lot more lessons than these, but you, you, know, you could go in and take a look at these lessons. Um, what you're going to do is if this is your first class, then instead of saying green right here, what yours is gonna say, it's gonna, speed, it's gonna say create new class. And you're gonna click on this create new class up here. Okay, and when you create new class, it's going to ask you for the name of the class. Um, let's just say, uh, you know, my first grade. Okay, or whatever name you want to give it. And then you're going to click on create. Now, I'm not actually going to click on create because I don't, um, I don't really want more classes on, uh, for mine. But um, after you, um, well, you know something? I'm going to, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my first grade. So now I've just created a class. There are no students in that class. I can edit it if I wanted to change the, the name. I can delete it, which is what I'm going to do when we're done. Okay. What you see here is this class code. Okay. Now this class code is really the what, the way that students are going to log into your class is eventually they're going to put in their nickname and their class code. Students, we don't keep students' email addresses because we don't want to store that information. Um, uh, and we don't want to store their real names, you know, unless you want us to. Um, so we use what we call nicknames here. And once you have the class set up, you're going to type in 
a nickname for them. So let's just say, um, you know, um, let's say, uh, uh, okay, so I may have one student, I may want to call that student Federico. So I click on there, okay, and then I add my next students. Um, uh, Ramon. So I add that student. And then I add another student, Maria. Okay. So I can keep on adding students this way. So each student is going to have a nickname. And all these students will appear in the class that you see here. This is the classes. My, I know what the name is my first grade, but they're going to they're going to have this code at X G L eight O eight one six. Okay, so that's their class code. I'm going to uh, write that down for myself so I can use that X G L eight. The letter O eight looks like one six. Okay, um, so I know I'm going to actually do a cut and paste too. Um, Okay, so anyhow, so that's the class, that's the class code. And really, that's all you have to do to set up your classes for your students, you can set up more classes. Um, but it's basically um, going here, and you're going to create a new class. Once you create a new class, you get in the class, and then you just add your students and you just add some nickname. Now I'm going to show you here. One of the things that I do is instead of giving my students names, because I actually use the same class with all the professional development that I do, I have this class called Green. And I've set up students called Green 01 through Green 21. And my class code is this Z-A-L-A E7A0, okay? Um, which I'm also gonna write down. Okay, so that's, you know, it's the same process as before, but it's just a tip that you can use if you want to, to use nicknames like here, green 01 through green 21, instead of the names. I also, um, I was giving a class at one point, and so I created, you know, these three names for this class. This class is Historia, and this class code is right here. Um, let me, so let me just ask you right now, um are there questions that you have about creating a class and setting students up for the class yeah it's very straightforward um and um what and you all also i see there's some information in the chat oh can you make it bigger um that's a good, yes. Although I'm probably too late for that, right? Um, Excuse me, I have a question. Sure, good. When we log into the web page, um, it appears on the main screen that we need to download the app. So we click on it and it opens on Play Store. Am I right? Okay. So you shouldn't have to do that if you're going to 3dbear.io. Okay. So if, so using the app, you know, that's something different. This is a website. So from here, um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to close this, you know, this is just a web browser. Okay. Um, I'm using Google Chrome and when I'm in on the web, I go to www.3dbear.io. Oops. And of course, I must have typed something in wrong. Uh, well, I'm just going to type 3dbear.io. Okay. And I just come to this website. And then right here where it says 3D Bear app, I go to login. And if I'm not logged in, it asks me to log in, but I don't have to download anything. Okay. Did that... Um, you know, and then where I was before is right here where it says class. And you can see that, you know, all, all my different classes here. 
Does that answer your question? Mm, yes, I'm checking. I'm just following the the steps. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so you click on login and it appears that you need to register, right? If you shouldn't need to register. If you click on login, let me- um, With actually, email. You should have, because I've already registered you. So you shouldn't have to register. So let me just, let me go back. If I type in 3dbear.io and I know I'm not logged in right now and I come here to login, I should get this screen right here. Okay. And it just ha has these two boxes, one for my email address and one for my password or for you, one for your email address and one for your password. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So then you just type in your email address, you type in your password, you click on login. It will take you automatically to here called lessons. Okay. But you'll have an option on this drop down here to create a new class. Okay. And so then you can see your classes. If we go to class here, I have a class called Historia. Oops. I have from this drop down, I have a class called Shalini. Um, I have a class called Red, which I don't even know if I have any students, just me, evidently. Um, I have a class, my class I use all the time is Green. And what you saw earlier was I created a class with you all called My First Grade. Within that class, I just click on add student, type in a name that I want that student to use, and then I create it. Then, it, then it's created. Now, so the next question is, how do the students log in? And so if you'll give me a second to set this up. Well, actually, any other questions? Oh, no, there's no, I see there's a question, can we add them in bulk? Unfortunately, there is not right now a way to add that in bulk, but it will be there by December 1st. So this year, you, we have to, you're going to have to add them individually for your class. Um, but um, certainly uh, it, by December, um, you'll be able to create a, an Excel spreadsheet or uh, a comma delimited file, and you'll be able to upload them in bulk. Um, let's see, so let me, sorry, I, um, that's what I get for, for trying to answer a question and log in at the same time, but great question. And, um, you know, it's, and it's a, it's a key, it's a really important ability that I, that we're, that we're adding five, four, six, nine. Okay. Okay. All right. So actually I'm going to stop share and I'm going to now share my iPhone. Okay. So now you see, I'm just I'm on my iPhone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first log out. Um, Okay. And then, ah, come on. Okay. All right. So let's say I'm a student. Okay. I'm here. I want to go into 3D Bear because I want to do something for my teacher. So I click on 3D Bear. Okay. And, you know, I, I see these items that other people have done, but I'm going to now click on this single person towards the bottom there. So if I click on the single person, I can either sign up or log in. And what I want to do is I want to click on login. So I'm going to click on login. Okay. And to log in, I'm going to log in as a student. So you see on the bottom, it says student login. 
I'm going to click on student login as a student. And now you see it's asking me for class ID and nickname. OK, so um, since I basically know the names of the students in my standard class, you remember my class code code was Z-A-L-A E seven A zero. So I'm going to put in my class code Z oops Z A L A E seven A zero. And I know that my nicknames were green zero one to green twenty one. I'm going to type in um, and capital letters count here, um, G R E E N. I don't know, I'm going to say O2. Okay. And now, having done that, I'm in as a student. And you see, it sees my, you know, my name is Green O2. It, 3D Bear doesn't know anything more about your students other than there's a student whose nickname is Green O2, and that student is in the class called Green. As a student, I have now have access to anything that 3D Bear does. So my teacher asked me to create a scene with dinosaurs. So I'm going to click on the plus here. And that brings me into create mode. So here are my dinosaurs. So I'm going to take a brontosaurus. I'm going to place her. I'm going to expand her. I'm going to now place a different animal. Let's just say that I want to place a butterfly flying around the brontosaurus. And that butterfly is probably a little bit too big. Um, I'm going to rotate that butterfly a little bit. OK. And then I'm going to label this dinosaur. Oops, maybe it would help if I spelled it correctly. OK, so here's my scene. Maybe I want to change the color of this and make it more visible. And so now, again, as a student, OK, I want to send this to my teacher. So I'm going to tap this circle here towards the bottom. Sorry, Mitch. That you... now saves the picture. Can you please write again the access code, please? I'm so, sorry. Um, I, I just let me finish this one thing, and then I'll and then I'll come back and answer a question. Um, you see on the bottom now that I share, I can share it with the class. I'm going to click on share with this the class, and now my picture goes to the teacher. Okay. Um, so you don't need. Okay. So the access code, the access code that I used was just for my class. When you create your own classes, you're going to have your own access codes. So, um, you know, if you want to see what it looks like within my class, it was um, Z A L A. I'm going to put it into the chat. Um, e seven A zero. OK, but you'll never need to use my code. You'll have your own code. OK, I'm going to stop sharing this for a minute. OK. OK, but if you use that code, you know, and you log in as a student, you can log in as green zero one or green zero two or green zero three. Um, I'm going to go back to sharing my computer screen here. OK, and so if you take a look on my computer screen. Sorry for interrupting you. Uh, I, well, I was testing my iPad uh, following you with the class code as a student, mm -hmm. but I couldn't log in. It says login fail. Please check uh, uh, your credentials and try again. And in the last uh, training that you gave us, it was uh, the same. I couldn't log into to make the trial to, to explore and all of that stuff. So I don't know if I'm doing something in a, in a wrong way. Or... Do you, um, when you, um, when you typed in the code, um, were you using, you see this, I mean, there's two, 
the two most likely errors without actually looking at you while you type it in. The, the one error is that you see it says E7 and then there's an O. That's not the letter O, that's the number zero. So that's one type of error. And the other, the other mo more common error is that you see that these names, it's a capital G and it's a small, you know, R-E-E-N. And so that's the second error is that there's a, there's a, it's possible that there's, a, it, maybe you didn't use a capital letter for the first letter. Okay. Z-A-L-A-A-E-7-A-0. That looks correct. But now the student name, you have to type in as G, capital G-R-E-E-N, zero, I don't know, zero one or zero five or something. Okay, that looks right. And you're in. Okay. All right. Good. No, thank you. Thank um, you, Mitch. <laughs> my, no, I'm so happy. That's really good. So, um, yeah, when you when you create a class, I'll do this. I'll do this again. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to create I'm going to create a new class. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to create a new class right here. Okay. And I just give it a name. So I'm going to call it. Um... Okay. Actually, I'm going to say Mitch. Mitch Historia, as in my history class. Okay. And I'm going to create that. As soon as I create a class, 3D Bear gives me a class code. So, and you can always see this class code because you can always come back here and um, you know, when you go to 3dbear.io and you type in class, whatever class you go to, every class has a different class code. Maybe I'll make this seat larger. Maybe this will be better. Okay. So Mr. you see, we can see your screen. We're looking at reflector cuatro. Oh, lo siento. Uh, that's my fault. Um, I'm doing all of that and I'm not even showing it to you. I'm so sorry. Um, Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna come, come back to it. So um, I've made this larger. So, so um, let me go, I'm going to, I'm gonna delete this class. Okay, so now when I, whenever I create a class and I click on here, it says create new class, I, I'm gonna give it a name, but that's only for me. So I'm gonna type in Mitch, Historia. Okay. And then I type in create. Okay. As soon as I create a class, 3D Bear gives me a class code. So my class code, every student is going to use this Y9. Every one of my students in this class is going to use this code Y9B1SY38. You'll always be able to come back from this, back to this, because you know, like as soon as you get to 3D Bear and let's say you're on designs, okay, um, or lessons or whatever, you know, you're on 3D Bear lessons, you go to class and here, this is, this, this is my code for this class. I happen to have a lot of different classes. Remember this Z-A-L-A-E-7-A-0, that's my code for my, um, for my class that I, that I called green. And so each one of my students, when they log in, they're going to type in whatever nickname I tell them to use. And they're going to type in this as their student code. When they do that, now, if you, I'm going to come here to designs. Okay. And what you saw is I just created something called dinosaur. If, so when students are logged in as, the, as, as a student, when they click on share to class for their, their photos, that photo will come to the class. And then if you want to show the whole rest of the class, you know, like there, it's right on your screen and you can, you can display that on a projector. And then when you're done with it, with some of these pictures, okay. Um, let's say I'm going to take a really old one. 
Okay, this one. Okay, so when you're done with these pictures, uh, you can delete them. So there's this this um, trash can here. I'm going to click on delete, and it's gone. So um, we're going to actually we, we have a lot of improvements to this that are coming on in in December, and so you'll be able to organize these, you know, incredibly well starting in December. But for right now, um, until then, you know, this you can. You can still display student photos here. Okay, and I'm sorry that I wasn't displaying that earlier. Okay. Um, any other questions that either can or can't answer? <laughs> uh, try to stump me, right? <laughs> like, why is the sky blue? Um, okay, so now I've recorded this. And so it's, you know, by Monday, I'll be able to make, put this probably on YouTube, so that uh, Denny can pass it on to you all. So if you need to go back to this and see how to how to do it, you'll be able to see the recording. Um, you also have the slides, because that those slides have also step by step instructions on how to do this. And, um, and uh, you also uh, you also have my email, I think, uh, so you can get in touch with me if you have questions, and I'm happy to help. Thank okay. you very much, Mitch. Uh, okay, ahora es, es el fin de semana, no? Para vamos a celebrar. Eso. <laughs> okay. I share all the, your presentations with mm -hmm. all of them, and I hope the, your link, the your YouTube video. Mm -hmm. To do this training today on Monday, and I will share with all of them too. Great. 